Okay guys, what is up? I am making a new commitment. Um, you know, even if it's not a big topic, um, I will present a video on my channel. So, uh, you know, you guys can come here for things that I've run into uh, transitioning from Python 2 to Python 3 because I didn't even know, you know, when I first started learning, I just learned Python 2. I didn't know that there was, um, you know, uh, uh, stages to the evolution of the language. So anyways, let's get started. Um, so we're going to do a little Pi game tutorial, just uh, not really anything big. Um, so uh, this is assuming that you already know how to download Pi game and how to... Uh, um, you know, access websites. I mean, most people are going to know that, just how to, you know, fucking look something up online, so, um, yeah, so anyways, we're just going to jump, and also Python 3, you have to have it installed. Um, right now, I think I'm using, uh, let me just double check, hold on. And also PowerShell, if you guys want tutorials on these, um, just let me know. I can, you know, it's what the crowd wants. I can definitely just, oh, what? What is this? No. Hmm. Let's try that again. That's something new. It's probably because I'm operating it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was weird. Anyways, I'm gonna try to keep everything on the screen kind of big. Um, you know, I I'm using Camtasia. It's a pretty fucking dope thing to use. So, and I have to make these short because the longer you make these things, the longer it takes to load. It's just it's not efficient, is what it is, you know, because we all got more things to do. So, anyways, um, and there we go. Okay. So, change home directory and then list that and then change to desktop. And list that and, um, or actually, I don't even need to do that. I just type in Python. So, yeah, I'm going to be using a just let it load here. What well, actually says right there. Python 3.6, so there we go. Wasn't that hard? So we'll just exit out of that. Okay. So, so assuming that you have Pygame installed, which is a, just a bunch of modules um, for Python, and uh, I think it's a general user interface, also for Py, like you know, a separate one, other than your regular computer. Um, so, import Pygame. That's what you always want to start with. And let's just save this as uh, a .py, which stands for Python file, because otherwise you won't get the, the syntax highlighting and everything. So um, we'll do it on our desktop, because that's where I have most of my stuff. Um, so we'll do a game.py. There. See? And now see how that changed to blue? Um, and before, you know, when I typed it in, that didn't work. And I can also advise you guys some kind of website to go to um, to learn how to type because I had no fucking idea how to type. But I learned, you know, because I wanted to learn how to program. I'm still kind of struggling with um, just the discipline of uh, getting into the computer every day. But anyway, so you want to do pi game and then dot and then init is an actual another. It's another function or yeah, essentially another module or function within Python, um, within the Pi game modules, right? So it's another function, right? So uh, which is like for, right? for event, event and whatever, or for i in range, i in range, right? Um, you put whatever number you want. Uh, and then you just do print, you do print i, right? And that would print i five times. It would just be numbers. But it'd be zero to it'd be zero to four, not right. I don't know. That's kind of getting off topic. Anyways, it's another whole nother subject. But okay, so import Pygame. So you have the modules to use, and Pygame dot initialize just initializes everything. So it like you know you got the you got the cord. Now you're plugging it in with in it in it right there, essentially. And I think there's a way to actually look at the code itself, but I haven't looked at that yet. I don't even think it's really necessary to do that unless you want to, you know, unless you like have that much time to do that because you don't need to know it essentially unless you want to create a language or something. I don't know, but um, so here we go. So you're gonna do a uh, 
pygame dot display dot set mode like that. It has to be a tuple because you don't want to change it further on. So we'll, do, we'll just do 500. I don't even know how big this window is, right? So it might be too big. Um, you can also do pygame dot set or dot display dot set caption. I think this display dot set caption. But I don't think uh, we'll just do hello. Right? I think I I could be doing that wrong. I don't know. We'll see. But um, okay. So just for a simple to get the Pi game window up, I have not found a video that has been relevant to me because it doesn't work. Right? Even Sendex, his video didn't work. Maybe I typed something wrong, or maybe I have a different version. But for me, um, this is what worked. So I do. Uh, we don't even need to do RGB colors, right? It's just, uh, I mean, we're just throwing up a window. So for event in pygame dot event dot get, and that's a whole list of functions to function, right? So like, or I guess it would be classes, maybe or modules. But anyways, um, it would be a if event dot type is equal to pygame dot, and then capitals quit uh, oh, and you have okay so this is dependent on so like a for loop right it's dependent this little hook here it's dependent on a conditional statement right so we'll do um, orange we'll just call our our um, name orange equals false oh no sorry true or it could be either one I guess but I'm used to doing this so orange equals false so then we do this but also so this is all gonna have to be tabbed over so while not orange and then this all is gonna have to be tabbed over one there we go so while orange is false right while not true essentially is what that's saying for event in pygame dot event get dot get if I gotta do that one more. If event dot type is equal to pygame dot quit, which means we press this, uh, this little exit sign, it would be up here. Um, so true, it's gonna orange equals true, right? So this is gonna actually just throw it out of the loop, right? So no longer inside this for loop, and we're just gonna do pygame dot quit. I don't know why I think A is Q, but anyways. So we'll just try this out. And uh, again, if you guys want to know about the other stuff, you can, you know, you can definitely let me know in the comments. Let me just move this over here. Change directory. I can show you some PowerShell um, uh, syntax too commands whatever I'm gonna do uh, so in order to do it you have to do Python Python and we did game.py and that's pretty much it oh and see look we, we did something wrong there you know what we did we don't have this little fucking thing right there you see how funny that is not that funny fucked up my video okay, okay. and waiting for the fucking computer okay so this is essentially it we got hello as the caption and see any key I press I'm just pressing a bunch of keys it's not it's not registering anything it's not trying to read anything but if I press this X here then it goes out of the Pygame window because we put that conditional statement um, connect. So we put the for loop connected to a conditional statement, and that's essentially what allowed us to clear out. Um, I want to make this short, so anyways, um, I'll go in depth about this in, in another video. Just to you know, I'll put um, things over there. But yeah, anyways, bye.